Hello y'all and welcome to my channel, Restaurant Recipe Recreations. In this episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to recreate the incredible yet simple potatoes Romanoff from the Strip House restaurants. And if you've never been to or eaten at the Strip House, it's not what you might be thinking that it is. <laughs> The Strip House is a very small but very upscale chain of steakhouses with their flagship stores being in Las Vegas and New York and are headed up by executive chef John Shank. And he created this signature potatoes Romanoff for the Strip House restaurants that I like to say are kind of a cross between an au gratin and a twice baked potato. And they are absolutely decadent and divine. And with Thanksgiving being about a week away, I'm telling you that these are the most perfect Thanksgiving potato side dish. It mixes it up a little bit, right? You know, sometimes you get sick of just the old same side dishes at Thanksgiving. So I promise if you make these potatoes, everyone at the table will be raving about them. So let me tell you what you need for this recipe. It couldn't be any easier. I have here three Idaho potatoes or russet potatoes. I have here white cheddar cheese, sour cream, a shallot, kosher salt, and white pepper. That's it. You're also going to need a nine by six inch casserole dish or approximately that size and a box grater or a food processor with your grater blade on it. And I would like to mention also that if you would like me to feature a restaurant or a recipe in an upcoming video, then go ahead and drop it in the comments section below. But make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that when your episode comes up, you'll be notified. So let's go ahead and get into this. So you take three large Idaho potatoes, leave the skin on, wrap them in foil, make sure to pierce each one of the potatoes with a knife to let the steam out and then bake these potatoes the day before in a 400 degree oven for an hour until they are very very soft then let them cool on the counter for about 20 minutes and then stick them in the refrigerator overnight or at least for eight hours and that's kind of where the twice baked potato aspect comes in because once these are prepared they're going to go back in the oven start by taking your three pre-baked potatoes that are cold and using a box grater, grate your potatoes. Remove any large chunks of the potato skin that didn't make it through the grater and discard. And then just place your grated potato into a large mixing bowl. And next, using your same box grater or food processor, grate two and a half cups of a sharp white cheddar cheese. Two and a half cups is the equivalency to an eight ounce block of your sharp white cheddar. Add the shredded white cheddar to your mixing bowl. Next, the recipe calls for two small or one large shallot minced. The interesting thing that I found about this recipe is that they call for the shallots to be raw. Typically, when you're working with shallot or onion, you saute it first in a little bit of butter or olive oil. Now, if you want to saute your shallots first, that's fine. By all means, go ahead and do that. It'll help take some of that bite away from the shallot, but the recipe does call for the raw shallot, and I do think it makes a difference. And make sure to get a very fine mince on this shallot. Next, add three teaspoons of kosher salt. a half of a teaspoon of ground white pepper, and one and a half cups of sour cream. Now mix the potato, cheese, and shallot mixture thoroughly, but don't overmix. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees. If you're using a nonstick casserole dish, that's fine. You can just put the mixture directly into the casserole dish. If not, go ahead and use some pan cooking spray or butter to butter your dish. Place this in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. What you're looking for is the entire top to be browned and nice and bubbly around the edges of the casserole dish. When you see that, you know that it's ready to take out of the oven. And we're back. Mine was in the oven for 30 minutes and it's perfect. And by the way, you can serve these potatoes right away. They don't need to sit and rest for any length of time. A very, very special thank you to Chef John Shank of The Strip House for creating this incredible potato recipe. Oh, yep, that's it, that's it. 
This will be your new go-to potato dish, I promise. All right, my friends, this will be my last video until after Thanksgiving, so I'll see you soon. But until then, everybody, have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family and your loved ones. Cheers, I love y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. And for more Thanksgiving dinner ideas, check out right here.